Verbicina virginica. This is frostweed. And the reason it's got that name is because it, it's a perennial. And when it dies down to go dormant from the surface, the roots are full of a special liquid that freezes um, at a higher temperature than other um, moister, moist plants. And um, it'll send up this hoarfrost spiral right at the base. And it's so beautiful that the plant's named after it. And there's many different kinds of names of Verbicina virginica. And there's, um, I think, other species of it in other parts of the world. But it's just loaded with, you know, honeybees and Pennsylvania leatherwings. If you can see that Pennsylvania leatherwing, there it is. Pennsylvania leatherwings. And you've got more Pennsylvania leatherwing. Anyway, it's just full of butterflies, and it's got real honeybees. Hate to smell of fera, lots of honeybees. And it, this is really during a very, very dry spell. Oh, hey there, little tipper. Um, it's a very dry spell, and yet you still see the plant is super good at providing nectar. See, look at all that. And this is frostweed. Anyway, you'll see butterflies of all kinds on it just all kinds and I've got this area um, just for this just for the butterflies I'm separating it out and it's really good because somehow the plant root really takes on um, a deep um, a deep I don't know, it, it just it somehow gets way down there and gets a lot of water because even in a dry spell you see it's full of nectar or these insects wouldn't be wasting their time on it. Can you see all the insects? I mean they're just all kinds of pollinating insects are on it taking in nectar. You can tell it's nectar because if you look at the bees legs they're not going after any uh, pollen there, they're going after nectar. Yeah. So that's a good thing this time of year because this is uh, the middle of September and we're in a in a really bad drought right now we haven't had normal clouds this is the first day of normal clouds for a long time uh, what I mean by normal clouds is normally we have serious airplane pollution here I mean the airplanes come over and I don't know what's going on really but they are just polluting the sky so bad and I'm being factual here I'm not going into detail the pollution is rampant um, and it destroys the atmosphere but anyway these these plants are, are really cool because the the type of whirly looking frost they make in the winter time is just awesome to see but it's a good good thing you see very very good thing um, for Bessina virginica